Hello, this is Dr. John Shroggy with his presentation on the role of clouds. In this presentation, we're going to be seeing how clouds modify the temperature at the Earth's surface. We're going to be seeing a couple of examples in this presentation of satellite pictures, and then we'll be relating them to the clouds at the uh, temp sorry to the temperatures at the surface. And here's a nice example. Here's a nice uh, infrared satellite picture of the Midwest by day. And as you can see at this time, there's cloud cover over uh, the Missouri Valley, and there's also cloud cover up around Chicago. We would anticipate that in these regions there would be lower temperatures because the clouds are reflecting shortwave radiation. The clouds have a high albedo, they reflect solar radiation, keeping it from ever reaching the Earth's. And if we superimpose the temperatures, we see that that's true. Probably the easiest example to see is if you compare Omaha to Des Moines, or if you compare the uh, Omaha and Lincoln to the stations farther to the west, you can see that it is clearly cooler in underneath the clouds than it is um, away from the clouds. And this, of course, is simply due to the uh, effect of the clouds reflecting shortwave radiation. But this is, of course, only going to happen by day. There only is any shortwave radiation from the sun during the day. So by day, clouds act to cool the Earth's surface down. That's not to say that long wave radiation isn't occurring during the day, but the short wave radiation is just so much more than the long wave radiation that we only worry about the short wave radiation from the sun during the day. By night, the opposite is true. Now, this is a nighttime satellite picture. Uh, we haven't yet covered in this course how we take satellite pictures at night, but we will get to that. But suffice it to say, we can see that there is cloud cover over uh, Wisconsin and northern Minnesota. There's also cloud cover across Omaha and Lincoln and also in northern Nebraska. These clouds are absorbing long wave radiation emitted by the Earth's surface and then emitting that radiation back towards the Earth's surface, keeping the surface of the Earth warmer. And again, if you compare the temperatures in, say, Omaha and Lincoln to the stations just to their west and to their east, you can see it is warmer under the clouds at night than it is away where the sky is clear. And that again has to do with the role of clouds. At night there is no short wave radiation so the role of long wave radiation is, so, is much much more important. The ground emits long wave radiation as a way of cooling down but where there's cloud cover the radi clouds absorb the long wave radiation and then re-emit it back towards the Earth's surface. The clouds act like a blanket trapping the heat at the Earth's surface. Where it's clear the radiation gets away and the Earth's surface cools. Hopefully this has helped clarify this point for you. If not, be sure you either stop by during office hours or send me an email or drop me a, a, a voicemail on the audio blog, however you want to do it. Make sure you get this point straight about the role of clouds in day versus the role of clouds at night. This has been Dr. John Shiragi, copyright 2005.